Hello, welcome to the project Deploy a Node.js application in AWS. In this tutorial, we are going to deploy a very simple Node.js application using AWS Elastic Beanstalk and Amazon DynamoDB. This sample application uses the Express framework and Bootstrap to build a simple, scalable customer signup form that is deployed to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. The application stores data in Amazon DynamoDB and publishes notifications to Amazon Simple Notification Service when a customer fills out the form. Before you start, download the sample application source bundle from GitHub. We will use the Elastic Beanstalk console to launch an Elastic Beanstalk environment. We will choose the Node.js platform and accept the default settings and sample code. It will take some time, so we will pause the video and come back after the environment will be created. After the environment has been created, we will be able to see the environment state is green and Elastic Beanstalk is ready to upload and deploy the application. However, there is another small step left before deploying the application. And that is adding permission to EB instance. The sample application uses instance permissions to write data to a DynamoDB table and to send notifications to an Amazon SNS topic with the SDK for JavaScript in Node.js. Add DynamoDB and SNS full access managed policies to the default instance profile to grant the EC2 instance in your environment permission to access DynamoDB and Amazon SNS. Now the environment is ready for us to deploy the sample application and run it. In order to do that, we have to upload the downloaded zipped file for the code and click on deploy. It might take a couple of minutes to deploy the application. Once it is deployed, we can click on the URL and provide our information for signing up. The table contains an entry for every email address submitted on the signup site. 
Also, the application sends a message to an Amazon SNS topic that has two subscriptions. One for email notifications to you and another for an Amazon simple queue service queue that a worker application can read from to process requests and send emails to interested customers. To use an external DynamoDB table with an application running in Elastic Beanstalk, first create a table in DynamoDB. When you create a table outside of Elastic Beanstalk, it's completely independent of Elastic Beanstalk and Elastic Beanstalk environments and will not be terminated by Elastic Beanstalk. Now, instead of creating a new DynamoDB, we can update the configuration files in the application source to use the Node.js tutorial table. At first, we'll update the EB extension config file. We will replace the new sign up uh, with the email we are going to use for signing up in our app and replace startup sign up table value with our DynamoDB table name Node.js tutorial. Then we will remove the create DynamoDB config file. After all of this, we will zip the updated file from command line. Also, after adding the new DynamoDB table, we will be able to see all our new signing up email in the new DynamoDB Node.js tutorial table. Finally, I will show how to configure the environment's auto scaling group with a higher minimum instance count. Run at least two instances at all times to prevent the web servers in your environment from being a single point of failure and to allow you to deploy changes without taking your site out of service i will not change the actual number of instance for the demonstration however i will show you the way how to do it
When we finish working with Elastic Beanstalk, we can terminate our environment. Elastic Beanstalk terminates all AWS resources associated with our environment, such as Amazon EC2 instances, database instances, load balancers, security groups, and alarms. Also, we can delete the external DynamoDB tables that we have created. Regarding the other services, we can delete the IAM roles and the S3 bucket created by Elastic Beanstalk for application storage. That's it. Hope you have enjoyed the demonstration of the project. All the materials and source code was collected from AWS website. Hope to see you on the next project. Thank you.